Hey drum fans, it's cocktail time. Tonight I'm making something a little bit celebratory. I know it's not all good news, I know we're not totally out of the woods yet, but here in Speyside we do have a little bit of something to celebrate. Well, I do, it's a whiskey nerd. Uh, some of the distilleries are reopening to visitors again, so that's why we're making something celebratory. So tonight's cocktail is a riff on French 75. Uh, I'm calling it French 120 and it's a drink actually that has uh, most of the ingredients have some kind of meaning to them, some kind of reason uh, why I chose them uh, for this drink tonight. I'll do a more detailed explanation uh, and pop it on my YouTube channel. So uh, we're going to start off with 25ml of honey syrup, this is a 1 to 1 honey syrup, try not to send it everywhere. 25ml of lemon juice, 25ml of whiskey. I'm using Glen Murray for this tonight. Uh, now, Glen Murray, that has a connection with the 120. The 120 um, that I'm using in this cocktail uh, relates to 120 Squadron, RAF Squadron, based now up at RAF Lossy Mouth. Um, go look them up. Um, also, Glen Murray is French owned, so it seems appropriate uh, to put it into a champagne cocktail. So, now that that lot's had a shake, we're going to strain it into a chilled flute. And then finally, we're going to top this up with champagne. Garnish, nice and simple, just a little twist of lemon peel on the side of the glass there. That's it, that's simple. If you want to, you can build it in the glass. You don't need to use a shaker. Uh, really simple um, way of getting your whiskey alongside your champagne. So cheers, let's see how it is. It's great, it's really good. Uh, whiskey just comes through really gently. Uh, Obviously only using 25 ml of whiskey, there's not a huge amount of whiskey in there. Um, but it's still a pretty potent drink because you're getting your whiskey and a lot of that uh, whiskey flavour um, really just melts into the back. Uh, you get a little touch of honey just coming at the end there. Um, and the, the lemon, lemon juice just comes through kind of throughout really. That's dangerously good. Actually, uh, that that's really nice. I could I could probably drink that all night, to be honest with you. So that's a French 120. So a little bit of history as to to where the, the kind of the name I'm giving this came from. So the French 75, uh, named after a French gun um, that was used uh, during World War One. So the Swazon cans and. There are other versions of this, French 95 uses bourbon. I couldn't find exactly the etymology of that name, but I did see some suggestion online that uh, it could be related to some other gun. If you know better than me, please comment down below. So, why 120? Well, 120, as I mentioned, is, the, is one of the squadrons now based out of RAF Lossiemouth. Um, so it seemed appropriate to use a Scottish number uh, Scottish military uh, relevant number. 120 Squadron used to be based out of Kinloss and they flew Nimrods. Uh, they're now based out of Lossiemouth and they're going to be flying the new P8 Poseidons. Uh, they do have significant battle honours um, and they, they played a significant part, uh, sunk a large number of boats uh, during World War II. Glen Murray, 
is one of the distilleries that reopened to visitors this week and they're French owned, they're owned by the Martiniquais. So there's a number of things which in this drink um, kind of all tie together. Instead of using sugar for a sweetener, we've used honey, which would have been a, a typical sweetener that would have been used in Scotland in days gone by. So that's all the kind of reasons, a very quick history lesson uh, as to why uh, I've called this a French 120. Thanks for watching, stay safe, cheers.